Hey, Coach, you had an amazing run at your first stint at USC as an assistant coach. Uh, in 2004, you guys defeated Oklahoma for your second national championship. Do you feel like uh, you guys would have defeated the Auburn Tigers as well that year who got left out, or do you think you guys were just that much better than everybody else that season? Oh, I wouldn't know enough to know. I didn't watch Auburn enough that year to know that. Um, I know that that team was really special um, that we had and, um, in the style of that win, you know, um, over Oklahoma that year, 55-19, I think. Um, you know, was that was a really explosive team. Well, I think we could have, could have uh, competed with them very well. You know, we played we played them the two years previous to that, and and uh, there was some there was some uh, definite differences, but. And they lost a lot of people on that 2003 team that they had, and we had everybody coming back. Uh, the one area that Oklahoma could not stand up with them was defensive back. They had big receivers, and uh, they had very small defensive backs. We had Carlos Rogers playing defensive back. Uh, we had uh, David Irons, a big defensive back, both very physical. They could run. We'd have matched up very well with them. I, and you know, with Ronnie Brown and Carnell Williams in the background, uh, I think it would have been a great game. It just it was unfortunate that uh, that we didn't get to play in that game. I think that's that's probably been one of the biggest shortcomings in college football in the last 15, 20 years. But you know that's water under the bridge, and uh, uh, I think we proved to people all across the country we had a good football team. And uh, again, that that's uh, that's what we all try to do. We try to do the best we can, and uh, unfortunately we got voted out in that game. Well, that does it kind of upset you a little bit about. You know, with all the Reggie Bush USC sanctions that are about to come out this week, they might they might even have to forfeit that 2004 national championship, and that you guys didn't even get to play for it. I I just I just don't think that's fair for your 2004 Auburn team. Does, does that add sting to the fire, or how does that work out for you? Well, not really. I try not to reflect on it too much. It's going to be interesting to see what happens if they do take it away from them. Uh, you know, it seems like the NCAA now is is not really punishing anybody. They're punishing people three or four years and then, you know, just taking away games or championships. And uh, I don't see them doing a whole lot to USC, uh, uh, unfortunately. But uh, it's, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens, uh, you know, who they'll make national champion that year. But uh, it'd be nice to have some kind of recognition for that team just for, for Auburn and for college football because that was one of the best teams. Again, I've been around some good ones, three national championship teams at Miami. That team we had that year was as good as any team I've ever been around.